Uh, I'm Zach Smith. I'm I'm gonna do that again. I'm Zach Smith, and um, this is the Demon City Kickstarter video, and so you should watch it now. Around your ribs, and you all hear a <laughs> all at once, and your Not head kind of flops sideways. Demon City can be any city, any modern city. It could be Tokyo, it could be Rome, a place you're familiar with, or some place that you just kind of think is an interesting place to play. Okay, so what do I light on fire? The tentacles or the SWAT team? When there is a classic monster, there's a twist on it. So I looked at like Japanese ghost stories and ghost manga where the ghost can be any kind of insane monster. The werewolves have different behavior on different days of the moon phase. Demons are sort of abstracted a lot in a fantasy game. I wanted to tie them specifically to morality, like, because that's usually how demons come across in fiction. They're a punishment for something. And so basically there's one demon representing each station of the sort of symbolic order that the whole world's supposed to follow. Different demons which are associated with different sins. You don't just throw a magic knife at it and it's gone, you know. There are exorcisms and horrors and monsters being connected to their own culture and ritual and specific ways of getting rid of that. I integrated tarot cards, which have one to 10 also, but they also have like a more subtle other range. While it is facing someone else, I want to, I'm gonna try to punch it in the back of its head. What's your hand to hand? Six. So well, your hand to hand is not better than its, but you get an extra card for it already being engaged. So you get two cards and everybody flip. You can just play the game with dice. Yes. All right, yes. But it adds an extra dimension. A way of looking at reality through these archetypes is built into the setting so that you have a horror setting where you can do any kind of horror thing that comes up, but you have a subtle frame around it. The tarot aspect is a little bit eerie. Just It adds this sense of like ooh, eeriness. And also, I trust my dice. I don't trust your cards. A lot of modern horror games, you can play anybody with any job. But what I did in Demon City is created essentially sort of character classes based on why are they, why do they even care? Why are they chasing down this ghost, monster, unholy terror from beyond? Um, when I play Demon City, I feel a lot more insecure. Why is everything going wrong? Why is everything going completely south and it's engaging in a way that I'm not used to being engaged in a tabletop game. The base of the tentacle just explodes in blood yes. like <laughs> this is the best character I've ever created in these games. <laughs> There's also campaign frames where you can like say at the beginning, like this is gonna be an all procedural detective one. We're all gonna be teenagers on the lake. Every horror scenario is a desperate scramble for advantages. Like, oh, I've got to get up higher than this person. Oh, I'm out of the way. Oh, I'm from here. I can shoot the zombies, but they can't get to me. You're, you're unconscious right. and your ribs are crushed. They're desperate, but choices actually matter. The way that Demon City gets past the problem of making different things feel different, but at the same time, not making it too heavy or crunchy. What matters is the difference between the two weapons you're using, the two tactics going on. If you're fighting someone in a broom closet, then having a dagger might actually be better than having like a six foot long sword. I want to really activate characters having contacts and allies that they can draw on. Also, you don't know this, but one of my contacts is the SWAT team. <laughs> <laughs> but I also to create a source of horror, you create contacts, but if you don't keep them safe, then you're gonna lose calm points, you're gonna go go insane slowly. So on the one hand, as you create these connections, those become assets that you can draw on. Like you don't know anything about ancient Sumerian, but this guy does. On the other hand, if you let Fred get eaten by a ghost, you're screwed. They're more connected to their environment without demanding that everybody write like a 90 page backstory. They're, they have an incentive to create connections to the real world. As in a, you know, a TV series, like a cop show or something, your characters rest. They can go to the bar, they can go help out at the local community center. What you do in between episodes, so to speak, creates the experience mechanic. Then more of a connection of your character to a wider world. I wanted to basically put every single thing I wish I knew when I started GMing into the book. There should be also stuff that helps people who are advanced, who have done this kind of thing before. I want a random building table in case you run into a building. I want a hundred different NPCs I could just pull out of nowhere. So there's not a lot of question marks here. The text is written. And then on top of that, there are stretch goals, which are specific writers who have expertise in specific areas. Uh, Vanessa Vel Zelker, like she actually ran into a real serial killer in real life. So 
the stuff that she learned from dealing with the FBI about it, like a reporter who's an expert on political corruption, how, how antiquities get to museums and the looting that's involved and all the sketchy underground stuff that's involved. So I got people like that. At first, uh, mostly because, you know, I'm summoned from place to place, but you know, when uh, not everybody knows my summoning charm, so I'm like, whoa. Um, I was surprised. I was I was honored. I was honored that I I was uh, I was asked to you know tell my experience, and give you know give give my perspective on uh, you know the demon cities I come from. You know if if I had to have a mortal design it, I'm glad that Zach took over. I feel like a lot of his. Uh, a lot of his games I've played in the past have been very creative and innovative. It, it, it really felt like he took the time to research and kind of get to know demons, you know, in their everyday life because this this felt like a page ripped right out of my everyday. I think that's it. All right, cool.